Tina? Vicky. Clint, how nice to see you. Uh, I've been waiting for you. What, you that anxious to hear about my interview with the First Lady? No, uh, later. Now, look, nobody's been hurt, but there's something we have to take care of right now. Mom, is that you? Mom, it's not true. We didn't do anything. Jessica, hi. Nothing happened. No, what? you didn't have a chance because I came back early. You came back? You and Carlotta came back, you mean. Mom, can I talk to you, please? Just well, you and me. Uh, hold on, hold on. What's, what's going on? Nothing. Carlotta and I didn't stay in New York. She had to get back. When we walked into her house, we found Jessica with Christian in the dark. His shirt was half off. We both had our clothes on, Mom. If we hadn't walked in when we did... Oh, my God, please, Mom, just let me explain. Explain? Explain what? Just tell her. Were you or were you not going upstairs to his bedroom? Yes or no? I can't tell you how disappointed I am in you, Jessica. After all the faith your mother and I had in you... Clint, just a minute. Just we thought we could trust you. We were dead wrong. Every principle we tried to teach you flew right out the window. Okay, well, don't those principles go for you, too, then? You and Mrs. Vega were going to go off to New York, weren't you? What does that have to do with this? Because it's no different from me and Chris. You were going to sleep with her, weren't you, Dad? Jessica! Jesse, uh, look, your father and Mrs. Vega are adults, all right? Yeah, well, I'm not a baby. No, honey, you're not a baby, but you are a minor. I mean, when you're all grown up and you have a house of your own, then you do... I can do, do what I want, right. But does that go for feeling, too? How long do I have to wait till it's okay to feel what I want to feel? Oh, uh, she just won't listen. No, I listen, Dad. And I see what I see. Okay, fine, maybe I'm a minor, but one thing I'm not is a hypocrite. You guys are sitting here telling me about following the right kind of values. Yeah, but I still think when you marry someone and promise to love them forever, that promise gets made to God. And it's a promise you keep. No matter what happens. I don't have any problem with that. Neither do I, I, I believe that, so does your mother. No, no, you see, you don't. Because you and you and Mom ran off with other people, right? That's what you did. But you're going to sit here and tell me about not living up to the right kind of values? Later, Jesse. Later. Yeah, what? Clint, uh, Vicky, I'm sorry to interrupt. Look, Tina, if this can wait, it should wait, all I right? I don't think it can. Christian is here, and he says there's something he needs to say. Tina, this is not a good time. And tell him not to come by without calling. Excuse me. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but... I just can't wait. Look, I know it's wrong of me to barge in like this, and I am sorry. Okay, but... God, I... I, I, I love Jessica, and you know we'd never do anything to hurt her. What I know is that you were about to take advantage of my oh. daughter. Dad, please, stop. Mom, come on, you can't let him sit here and make something out of this when nothing happens. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You were in the dark, he was half naked, and you were on your way up to his bedroom. Now, are you going to stand there and deny what was about to happen? Dad. Mr. Buchanan, I don't know what might have happened, but I really don't think we were thinking that far. God, all I know is this. I, I love your daughter. And you can trust in this. I would rather hurt myself before I would ever hurt Jessica. Fine. Fine. Now you had your say, and now you can leave. Dad, please stop. Mom, come on. You said you trusted me to make my own decision when the right moment came. And that's what's happening now. I love Chris. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. You guys can't keep us apart. Jesse, you can't know who you want to spend the rest of your life with. You don't even know what that means. You're wrong. Nobody asked you. Now, you can bet I'm going to be having a long talk with your mother about this. Meanwhile, I don't want you seeing my daughter alone. You can't stop us. Look, Jesse... Clint, Clint, just a minute. Um, please, would you do me a favor? Would you just seat Chris to the door? Please. Chris, thank you very much. Believe me, we heard every single word you said, but I really need to talk to Jessica alone now. Okay? Please. All right, you two talk alone. Christian? I'll let you know when we're finished, okay? I'll be in the kitchen. Oh, 
Mom, I knew you'd understand. Well, honey, I'm not so sure that I do understand, okay? Let's talk. Are you are you telling me that you think to have sex? I love Chris. I, yeah, I think I would be. Well, okay, honey, I have to disagree with you on that, okay? Because I, I just frankly think you're not quite mature enough yet to know whether you truly love someone in an adult, you know, way, in a lifetime way. It's not a criticism, honey. It's just a fact. You are both very, very young, and you just don't have enough life experience to know that yet. You sound just like Dad. I mean, why are we even talking alone? Mom, you don't care. You're not even here anymore. Nobody's here. Chris is the one person I have to go to. Jessica, you know that that's not true. Why? Why, because you say so? He listens. He's there when I need him. And you think I'm going to let you take that away? I love Chris. That's my decision to make. Yes. I know it's your decision to make, honey, and I'm, I wouldn't dream of telling you who to love, believe me. What I'm trying to get you to understand is, sweetheart, there is a vast difference between loving someone and loving someone and having sex with Especially at your age. So I think before you decide to express your feelings for someone in a physical way for the very first time... Mom, it's very important. I know. I understand. No, you don't know, darling. You don't know. Look, there are a lot of considerations you haven't even thought about. You don't have sex with someone because you feel that you're alone and he's the only one you can talk to. You don't have sex with somebody because all your friends are doing it and you don't have sex because you're annoyed with either one or both of your parents, darling. Making love, having sex, is a huge commitment. It is an enormous responsibility. It is one that you do not make just with your heart. You have to do it with your head, honey. You have to give it a lot of thought. How do you know what I'm feeling? You don't know me anymore, Mom. You don't know what my heart's saying. You want it your way because... Not this time. Okay, Jesse, if that's the only answer that you can give me, then it's obvious your father's right. So I'm going to have to ask you to respect his and my wishes and not see Chris alone for the time being. And I trust you enough, Jessica, to know that you will do as I ask. It's not a permanent thing. It's just until I feel to make these kind of decisions responsibly, okay? Do you understand? Yes. I understand perfectly. Jesse. Jesse, honey, don't no, Jesse, don't leave like this. 